Hello everyone, for today I would like to talk about uh, the system of my uh, Arduino Solar Tracker. Uh, so for my Arduino Solar Tracker, I use a dual axis solar tracker and <coughs> which means we need a two micro server to control the rotation of the circuit of the tracker. So one is for the horizontal and the other one is for vertical. For my uh, circuit, it's actually have a temperature control that to control uh, the the cooling of the solar panel. Uh, as uh, so, there's a temperature sensor for my uh, for my circuit, and there's also an LCD to display the temperature and the light intensity on the LDR, and the DC motor here. Uh, will represent the water pump to pump the water to cool down the solar panel if there is a high temperature there <coughs> so for my project uh, i use a uh, for my coding i use a uh, uh, include servo.h because i use a servo and include liquid crystal because i use a lcd to display uh, the temperature and the light intensity so liquid crystal LCD here is to uh, configure the uh, the pin that we want to use. For this one, I use a 12, 11, 5, 4, 3 and 2 pin on the Arduino. And the second thing we need to do is to define the temperature. Sensor temperature 4 is for because I use the analog input 4 for the my temperature sensor. And DC motor 13 because uh, I use it in the pin 13 to give the value for the pump here, DC motor. And the high time I set as 35 is because uh, solar panel efficiency will drop uh, if the will start to drop uh, when the the temperature of the solar panel reach 35 degree or higher than 35 degree Celsius. So uh, the the next thing I do here is uh, define the servo. So servo hori is for servo horizontal. That is the one here that I use a pink wire to connect it to the board. And servo verti for the vertical servo. That is I that's the is the one that I use a brown color for to connect it to the board. So assign LDR. Uh, so there is four LDR that I use here. Uh, LDR top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right. So uh, the the color here will uh, will actually use for connecting the the uh, the LDR to the circuit. So as you can see, when uh, top left I use a green, top right I use a yellow, and bottom left I use blue, and bottom right I use uh, orange. So for to set up the micro server, we have to attach a uh, servo hurry attach ten and write zero. For servo nine, I uh, servo verti I use a uh, attach nine and write zero. <coughs> so uh, to set up the water pump, I use a uh, pin mode DC. DC is this motor and output to configure it as an output. So the value on thirteen here will be used as an and the pin on the 13 here will be used as a output so to set up the lcd uh, this one i use to to print the uh, the to print the character that say uh, for the top one i say temperature and the bottom one is for light intensity <coughs> and <coughs> So in the void loop, we use because we want the the system to uh, go round and round until we stop the system. So capture analog value of each LDR. So we need to uh, to know each uh, value of the LDR. So we use an uh, analog read so that we can uh, read the analog input here as an uh, analog value. So after we done it, we need to calculate the average for the top, average for the bottom, average for left and the right 
of the LDR uh, value, analog value. So uh, the working of my system is if average top is high, is lower than average bottom, then the servo will move upward. So plus one means it will move up. So and if the average bottom is the one lower than average top, it will move to the to bottom. Um, for the left and the right, uh, for or for the horizontal server, it actually, the working is actually the same. But uh, if the average left is higher, it will move to the left, and if the right is higher, it will move to the right. <coughs> so uh, in here, I configure temperature sensor. So uh, we have to read the analog value of the sensor or uh, read the uh, sensor voltage value and convert the voltage value to the celsius for our temperature and to display the value i i use lcd dot set cursor 70 70 means it will start uh, put the value on uh, metric 7 and 0 means the top one because this uh, the lcd that i use have uh, two line <coughs> So, uh, if the temp temperature Celsius is higher or equal to high temp, high temp is the one that I uh, that I set that is a uh, thirty three degrees Celsius. So, if it higher than thirty three degrees thirty five, uh, high temperature is thirty five. So, if the temperature uh, of the sensor is uh, thirty five or above, it will uh, run the DC motor so digital write DC motor high high it mean it will give the value to the DC motor and DC motor is the pump so it means that if it is high temperature it will uh, start the pump to pump the water to cool down the solar panel and if it is lower it will not do that so uh, my LCD also display the light intensity so uh, if the it will display low if the light intensity on the LDR is low. It will display medium if it is medium. And it will display high if the light is high in the in the LDR. So uh, to simulate it, uh, we start simulation here. <coughs> and as you can see here, now uh, the value on our temperature is 24.71. So the DC, because it lower than 35, the DC will not move. <coughs> so if we put it higher than 35, as you can see here, the DC will move. It means the water pump is working now to cool down the solar panel. <coughs> so there is also a uh, two servo here. So this one, uh, this four LDR is the one that control the. Uh, solar tracker rotation and uh, as you can see here the the servo um, this one move because it's higher here and higher here so <coughs> as you can see here all of it can move so this one is move because it want to uh, it's want to have a equal value so it actually will move and this if the real one they will actually change depend uh, depending on the light on it and if we set it to zero all the same back it will stop it will stop the the rotation it should stop the rotation <coughs> oh so it will start the rotation if all of it is slow here as you can see here this one is uh, no light and this one is high light so as so for the temperature here now is 10 so we can set it back to 30, 35 above above 35 it will move so uh, as you can see here the light is low because as this uh, all four of it doesn't have a uh, high light intensity so it's stat here uh, have a low light intensity so if you move it here as you can see here the light intensity on it medium because 
it have a light here so uh, if there is high value high light intensity so it will display high because of uh, every every single every single one of LDR will have the same value when it stop uh, we only need to use a uh, one or two LDR to actually know the light intensity of the on the LDR which is uh, the same as the light intensity on the solar panel so you can get the code uh, or my sketch on the github from the description below so that's all from me for this final class project thank you